But we are back in the Delmar Life Kitchen with Chef Denise Clemens, who is also the author of Culinary History of Southern Delaware. And now it's time to put together the crab cake sliders. Okay. How are we doing that? Well, we started with a pound of crab meat. Uh -huh. And for those of you who are fond of jumbo lump crab meat, keep in mind that the crab has these back legs and these two muscles that attach to those swimming fins are the only lumps in jumbo lump crab meat. So it takes a lot of crabs to make Ooh, jumbo, jumbo lump. lump. Okay. The other disadvantage to jumbo lump, which is a delicious food, is the fact that it's really hard to make into crab cakes because it's lumpy and mm -hmm. it, you need some of the shredded meat um, to help you make the crab cake hold together. Makes sense. So if Lisa, would you mind sprinkling that with some cracker crumbs? Okay. And I like to use cracker crumbs rather than bread crumbs because they absorb more All readily. Of it? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and you can use this to um, spin it around a little bit if you okay. would. And um, don't ever buy special crab meat because it's not special at all. <laughs> um, it's still a crab. It's still a crab. That's true. That's true. All right, what do you want me to do? I would like you um, to zest that, I'm sorry, squeeze the lemon on the thing. Okay. The lemon reamer. The lemon reamer? The lemon reamer. This thing has that's a what name? It's, it oh, has a I name. I never knew that. Yes, now it's, it's called it the lemon squeeze. squeezer. Okay, that's all great. You time. can just don't dump it in yet. Okay. I never even knew. Okay. All right. Let's see, and now what we're going to do is we're going to make More? the... No, that's perfect. That's it. Okay, so we're going to take this lemon juice, right. pop it in here. Okay. And if you could use this spatula to mix that around. Don't add the crab meat yet. <laughs> little, I am not adding this crab meat into you. Tell me to. A little bit of Mr. Sear sauce. A <laughs> little bit of Tabasco. A little okay. more Tabasco. Uh, then, Maybe a little more Tabasco. You guys don't listen to him. Uh, Regular mustard, just mustard. You can use Dijon mustard already prepared if you prefer it to the um, powdered. It, you can do it either way. Mm -hmm. And this is not unsticking, so we're yeah. going to do a little bit of that. There you go. And then, you got here a little white pepper? Oh, uh, white pepper. I prefer white pepper in crab cakes to black pepper because you've got such a, all that cayenne in there. So this gives it another layer of flavor. A little Thank Chesapeake you. going on okay, here? Okay, I use Penzi spices. Um, right. And so this is not Old Bay, but Chesapeake Bay. Ah. Okay. Thing. Um, but same idea, mostly um, ground up celery seed is the biggest ingredient. Do you ingredient. want to put some Tabasco in there? Oh, I thought... No, 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 no you're <laughs> fine. You're fine with the Tabasco. All right, and now we're going to do a little bit of mayo. Uh-huh. Um, and the way we're making these crab cakes is with very little filler. We've all heard about that no filler thriller right. crab cake. Right, right, right. Um, but the problem with that is you need some sort of mortar to hold it together. Tabasco's good for that. Tabasco <laughs> is great for that. I'm also going to add a Here, little... Here, Jimmy, can you give me the Tabasco and put some in it? Yeah, right. Watch this, guys. Where's yeah. that going? A little bit of lemon zest. Okay. And... And now, Lisa, if you would like to put in the crab meat... You sure? Yeah. And I I'm going to mix crab meat in now. I'm going to mix it in <laughs> with some whipped egg whites. Oh, that's interesting. And that's going to be my mortar. All right. All right. And if you could just gently fold that fold together. Fold it. That's one thing that we have learned. If we haven't learned anything else in this kitchen, is that you always fold crab meat. Never. Okay. We're going to throw a little bit of. I'm getting ready to use the new exciting tools. Oh yeah, I was going to ask you, but somebody messed up your scissors. I know, <laughs> but could you use them to put okay. some chives in right. with the crab meat? And I'm going to get a little bit of butter. All some. You tell me how much. Um, some. Okay. Uh, the, I like that. That'll work. All right. See hey. if I can do this so I don't mess up. Yeah. And put in the extra long ones. <laughs> Butter is my favorite food group. Me too. So, crab you, cakes. You know, Tabasco's a food group, right? I know, and it's in a class okay. all by itself. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Okay. And. Are we going to make these into patties? Yeah, no, we're going to make them into small patties. I'm going to grab some gloves here. Yeah, I'll take a pair too. There you Thank go. Thank you very much. I think I gave you two. Oh, I gave you three, maybe. Yeah, I got it. We're good. Okay. And we're going to make them slider size. So slider size. A little bit small. So slider size for, like, me or slider size for my husband? Oh. Because, <laughs> yeah, that... That's slider, slider size Slider right size there. for the bugs. <laughs> oh, well, that changes things. A okay. Bit and right. we're just going to pop them in there. And while we're doing this, I'll I'm let you know that if you want this Oops. recipe, Oops. you know what to do. Send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 2 and 801. You can also go to delmarvalife.com or give us a call, 443-880-9116. Make sure you let us know you want mock shoe and crab cake sliders, or at least the recipe for it. I don't <laughs> think we're going to actually send them to you. Well, that would be interesting. That would be an interesting business right there. Did you know that there was a farmer in Lewis who used to freeze turkeys and put them in the mail 
in the post office in Lewis. In the post office? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, and mail them out. to People would order them and he would mail them frozen turkeys in a cardboard box. That is amazing. Oh my. Yeah. How about that? Okay. Yeah. Hopefully they weren't too far away. Because, uh, <laughs> no kidding. That'd be interesting. <laughs> and it didn't sit in the mailbox for long. No, no, no. It went well. All, All right. right. So we've so, got these going here. You know what? We probably need to taste our mock shoe because we didn't get to taste that earlier. Okay. Did you want right. to plate that? Uh, so how long are you going to let your crab cakes cook? I like to get them crisp on the bottom. Right. And then flip them over. Okay. So that might take a few minutes. That might a take couple a minutes. All right. All right. All right. Well, well, I tell you what we can do. We can just uh, go ahead and let this cook up. We can plate it and come back Make it and pretty. taste it. And eat it. All right. Stay with us. Tomorrow Life will be right back.